We move on now to a conversation around a feud involving South Africa and the European Union over citrus import rules. Now, it's understood that containers of oranges are stranded at European ports uh, with the citrus growers saying that uh, the fruits are rotting. Uh, South Africa and the EU locked, locking horns in that dispute over the rules on imports and uh, South Africa being the world's second largest exporter of fresh uh, citrus after Spain and the measures uh, coming into effect in July. These are the new rules as uh, ships were already at sea carrying hundreds of containers to Europe. For more on this matter we speak to Dion Hubert from the Citrus Growers Association. Thank you so much for your time Dion. Let's first talk about the magnitude of this feud. Where is South Africa and the European Union not having a meeting of minds? Good morning. Thank you for having us on your show. Um, look, the, the point is we have 100 years of very proud history exporting to Europe and it's been very successful, and at the same time, we're very small in, in, in world numbers. We're one and a half percent of the world production, but we're the biggest or the second biggest export, as you rightly said. And the important part is that, you know, we have, uh, we've had a very proud record of exporting to Europe for 100 years. We never, never any, any pests or things were, uh, were transferred. So these new measures are totally without any scientific base, nor any justified data behind that. So, the, the implementation of the of the new rules was done on the 20, was published on the 21st of June, mm. and they expected compliance on the 24th. So you're, you're right. So what happened was there was about 1,500 containers on the way to Europe when the rules changed, and and South Africa had been objected. Thankfully, the the, uh, the Department of Agriculture and the, the president himself got involved. So we're trying to solve this problem. Uh, there's about 650 600, 650 million brand of worth, worth of oranges, which uh, in theory is now not allowed to enter the EU. So we're trying to, to solve that issue. It's a big problem, especially as uh, you mentioned, the large figures that are involved in terms of uh, this particular uh, you know, challenge uh, posing an impediment uh, to trade between uh, the EU and South Africa. I'm even more interested in what it is that you are expecting the World Trade Organization to do, especially as uh, there was no prior warning that uh, these rules uh, would actually come into effect at a time when uh, ships are already at sea with uh, South African imported citrus. Absolutely correct. Uh, in normal trade situations, if you change your rules, you would give your trading partner six months to implement. In this case, they gave us three days. So it's disproportionate, unwarranted, uh, malicious. You can have a lot of words. Look, I think the important part is this. South Africa has got, uh, we, we grew from about 110 million cartons to 160 million cartons over the last eight years. And it's fantastic. We went from 8 billion rand of foreign earnings to 30 billion. So it's to have that kind of raise in South Africa where we struggle with jobs is a fantastic asset, one. And secondly, for the 50, 000, 50 million cartons we export uh, more since 2014, we've probably added about 45,000 new jobs in especially rural South Africa. So it's a wonderful thing to have. So the, the, the point is that South Africa has never, there was never any, any pest or uh, was transferred to Europe in the 100 years that we exported. Mm. And we've got a very proud system to look after it. I mean, we've got a uh, risk management system which is world-renowned. And now to come up with additional cold uh, sterilization uh, protocol right in the middle of the season is nothing but politically motivated and damaging. It's just unheard of. Let me ask this, uh, do you suspect any malicious intent here and what exactly would that be as uh, you indicate politics may be at play? Yeah, yeah, look, I mean, uh, what, what, uh, the main thrust for this comes from the Spanish areas uh, and I'm, we're still at the total loss why Spain sees South Africa as a problem. There's, a, there's an election later in Spain and a lot of the uh, Spanish produced, they are small, they are fragmented, uh, um, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible situation, but we don't even produce in this season. So we know their competition, their comp competition comes from, from Egypt and, and Turkey and stuff like that. We're, we're actually the best news, we keep consumers eating great quality oranges, mandarins, lemons, mm. out, of, out of season, so we keep customers loyal to the product. When you have massive uh, competition between blueberries and you know, peaches and, and what is wonderful fruit in the world. So South Africa is a wonderful added, uh, call it uh, 12 months um, consumer loyalty addition to the Spanish. 
But it's come, I mean, we, we saw it on black and white. We saw tweets. We saw uh, things coming from Spain mm. where they motivated South Africa need to be out. So it, it is a definitely politically motivated. We just still can't find the right reason why they, they're looking at us. And the latter of what you've explained, Dion, uh, speaks to uh, South Africa having an added advantage which bodes well in terms of advocating for our product to be in the EU. Uh, I want to find out if uh, you see an end in sight to this feud and how soon because it is quite uh, early stages of uh, the, uh, uh, the application to the World Trade Organization. And as you've indicated earlier, that uh, the president has also raised a concern, so has the agricultural department. Uh, but to uh, what extent can we expect uh, that uh, the pace of uh, this particular matter will be raised at an exponential rate? Well, the, the filing of Extremely grateful to Mr. Patel, this department who took the lead and, and filed this dispute. Uh, the great thing about a dispute, it gives you a, a three-day uh, uh, time cycle to, to, to have consultations. Hopefully in the consultation phase, which will take place in the next 30 days, uh, they will be find some sort of solution or some sort of compromise in the, you know, to allow the less of an impact on our exports. So we're hopeful that this will have an impact in the season still, uh, and then hopefully next season we'll have a much better and a more fair access to Europe. We cross fingers. Thank you so much for your time and insights. That's uh, Dion Hubert from uh, the Citrus Growers Association talking to us about uh, this ongoing development. Uh, it's a feud between South Africa and the EU over import rules that uh, have uh, been put in place uh, since late last month. And uh, the challenge there is that uh, South African imported fruit is uh, rotting in uh, EU shores.